Hey guys, it's Ashley. So I am bringing y'all something a little bit different this time. And I'm doing a little small series of Valentine's cards. And I'm not a huge card maker, so I am working on it. And I've gotten into it within the past month or so. So I'll go ahead and get started. I'm starting off with just a standard A2 size card. And I'm using the Swiss Dots Cuddle Bug embossing folder. And I'm going to take that right to my I think it's a big kick. I have I don't have the big shot. I have the big kick, which is very similar. So I went ahead and embossed that, and I just set it aside for now. And then I did get uh, sort of take this idea from um, with a few changes, but from a YouTuber, and I cannot think of her name. I'm so sorry, but this is from somebody who did this with Stampin' Up products, and um, she used the. I think the Gingham Garden maybe collection and it was a super cute card and so simple. So I, I picked some washi tape that I thought would be um, really cute for this card and for especially because it's Valentine's. So I picked a gray diagonal stripe and then you can see the pink chevron and um, the smaller scale pink chevron on the other side and then some polka dots. And most of these are from Michaels with the exception of the darker like magenta pink that's from Hobby Lobby. So I try to line it up on my craft mat so I can get them as straight as possible, but it is washy and it's not supposed to be perfect anyway, so it doesn't really bother me too much. Now I'm taking the Re We Are Memory Keepers um, corner chomper and I just did a fourth of an inch on each side. And then I'm taking a scrap paper, um, of, this is all Whisper White cardstock by the way, and that's by Stampin' Up. And I'm using um, a dollar stamp from Michaels, it's the Craft Smart. Um, collection that they have in their little dollar bins and it just says have a sweet valentine's day and it's such a cute stamp and so what I did was I got my stackable circle sat scallops by Lawn Fawn and uh, went ahead and used that to cut out my sentiment. So now I'm taking this I have to be really careful I'm using Melon Mambo ink by the way and it's the same ink that I use for the sentiment and that's by Stampin' Up as well. And I'm having to be really careful to take this foam piece because it's not, you don't have much control when you're using the foam piece without the um, tool. And honestly, I have the tool, but I just didn't reach for it. It's And it didn't bug me a whole lot. I didn't really care for it to be perfect, but you do have to be careful that you don't smear it on the front of the little piece there. So now I'm taking some American Crafts ribbon and it came in one of those huge packs. And so what I'm going to do is just cut off a little string, a little string, a little um, piece, and then I'm going to put adhesive all over it. And that adhesive, I think, is like a fourth of an inch. So it's pretty skinny, I guess you should say, adhesive. And I went ahead and covered the bottom, or went ahead and put it around the card there at the bottom. Now I'm taking the 10 second bow maker. And this is just such an, such an easy way to make a perfect bow. Um, just because I'm not good at them anyway, and so it's it's the perfect way to make a bow. And not only that, since I've already put a piece of ribbon down at the bottom of the card, um, all I have to do is just use a glue dot to put this bow on top of that. And it kind of gives the illusion that it's tied around. So that ended up working out great, or the 10 to second bow maker ended up working out great for me. So, And then I just popped that up on some foam squares. And then I'm going to put the whole piece onto the card base, which is embossed with the Swiss dots. And I'll put that on with Stampin' Dimensionals just because I ran out uh, of the other ones. And I love the Stampin' Dimensionals because they don't, they're not too dimensional, which is perfect for me. So I'm just finishing up the card here. And that finishes it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And the final picture is coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great week.